Is the rest of your life going to be the best of your life? I want you to think about that whatever age you are. Today, I want to get into some practical tips that can help you retire early and wealthy. Welcome to this week's edition of Money Matters because if you've ever seen this channel before, you'll know that I deeply, truly believe that money does matter. Money gives you choices. And here's what I don't want you to do, and I'm pretty sure you don't want to do it either. So many people just pay the bills and die. As William Wallace said all those years ago, every man dies, but not every man truly lives. So let's say you're watching this in the bracket, say 18 to 24 years old. The stats are these, your average salary is gonna be 12 and a half thousand pounds. 51% of you are gonna go and do a degree, some sort of higher education. Around about three quarters of you that do those degrees will end up not using them for any practical purpose. We're all taught, aren't we? Go to school, get some exams, probably go to university, and then off you go, go and get a job and make sure it's a good one. And there's some vague thought at the end of your life, because you've got a good job, not at the end of your life, but in your golden years, when you finish working, you can have some sort of comfortable retirement. Complete and absolute pipe dream. Average 18 year old, most people, off they go to university to do what? Here was my careers interview at school. Next, come in, ah, oh, Smith. What's your best subject? Uh, well, my best subject sir, is probably physics. Right, physics degree. Next. There was no conversation at all about what would be good for me and my life. Think about the advent of artificial intelligence. Think about all the jobs that are gonna get obliterated by artificial intelligence. Think about Darcy, she's my nine-year-old granddaughter. Is anything she is currently learning at school as a nine-year-old gonna be vaguely relevant for when she's working at 30, 40 or 50 years old? I don't think so. I think the world is gonna be completely and utterly changed. If you want to put yourself in a position of being able to retire comfortably and early, what sorts of things do you need to do? Number one, you need to challenge the idea that you need to do a degree at all. Why do most people do a degree? The number one reason is their parents want them to. It's kind of a, a pride thing, it's a, an achievement thing. But wealth and money, sorry, they're nothing to do with pride and achievement. They're to do with a ruthless focus on making yourself wealthy, on developing multiple income streams. I'm not anti-university, I'm certainly not anti-education. I've got an engineering degree, it's my first degree, and I've also got an MBA. I used my engineering degree extensively, I still do, and I use my MBA extensively, and I still do. My challenge is people that just drift into some sort of degree, end up with a 50, 60, 70,000 pound student loan, no idea how they're gonna pay it back, lose four or five years out of the workplace, so they end up four or five years behind their contemporaries, and they earn less money, and they got more debt, that is not the way to retire early and wealthy. The first thing that I'd like to encourage you to do is I'd like to encourage you to pick up a copy of this book. There'll be a link in the description below. It's one of my books and it's called Wealth Through Property. Invest your time, money and effort learning things like investing in the stock market or investing in, in property because those are gonna be lifelong skills. And the third thing is develop a thick skin. Because you're going to get all sorts of people telling you that, oh no, that's not what to do. Uh, maybe, you know, it could even be your family, your mum, your dad, whatever. They might be very disappointed that you don't want to do what they want you to do. Well, here's the news. It's your life, not theirs. I'd love it if they support you, but it's more important you do the right thing for you than it is that you do the right thing for them. Group two. Let's go from 25 to 40. Let's call this the career generation. They've got into their first job, maybe their second job. By the time they're in their 30s, they're quite possibly married. They've probably got a child. Life is just kind of taking over. The thing that I want to, uh, I guess, warn against or make you aware of is that in that phase of your life, it is quite likely you get overwhelmed by bosses at work, uh, children, relationships. And what I want you to do is I want you to think about how can you use that phase of your life to really start creating wealth. These are where you're strongest, fittest, most capable of making a difference. What most people do is they get tied up in the politics at work. They get drawn in to all the understandable demands of being a young parent. And somehow, it's almost like they lose 15 years. What I would want each and every one of you to do is literally measure your time. What is it that you're spending your time doing? If you're 
uh, staff, if you're an employee, you're swapping your life for money. Your job is to make sure you're exchanging as little as your life as possible for as much money as possible. And if there are tasks that you're doing that are really, really badly paid, stop doing them. And equally, if the tasks that you're doing because you think you have to, typical examples would include shopping, cleaning, mowing the garden. And let's say when you record your time, you're actually doing two hours a day. Let's say you could get somebody else to do it for you for, depends where you live, 10, 12, 15, maybe even 20 pounds an hour. So if you could deliver value in other ways of more than say 20 pounds an hour, all of that stuff that you're doing for less than that amount of money, you're wasting your time. Here in Wealth Through Property, there's a technique called deal packaging. A deal that you package is a good deal, a good property deal in this case, and you sell it on to another investor. And if you spend two hours a week consistently and you learn how to do it using the techniques in here, Wealth Through Property, your reward for that two hours a week should be one package deal that you would sell to another investor. The minimum sale price for a package deal is 3,000 pounds, or at least it is in my world. If you could use two hours of your life to earn 3,000 pounds, that means your hourly rate is one and a half thousand pounds. Please make sure that you're not doing something else with an hourly rate of 10 pounds or 15 pounds. Please, if you're 25 to 40, make sure you develop at least a second and possibly a third stream of income. Let's move on then to the, the 40 plus and let's call this group of people approaching middle age. By the time you're in your 40s and 50s, you should be working hard to develop your second and third streams of income such that your main stream of income is actually increasingly irrelevant. Whether it's stocks and shares, whether it's property, whether it's other forms of business ventures, what I want you to be doing is making sure that your other streams of income, writing books, uh, HMOs, service accommodation, whatever it is, they get to at least three times your day job income during your 40s and 50s. So you've learned in your 20s and 30s not to follow all the other lemmings off the edge of, your cliff, off the edge of the cliff. And you've focused on what's really important, you've learned about it. In your 30s and 40s, you've developed that second, third, fourth income stream so that in your 50s and 60s, by the time it's triple what your day job is, well, you don't need to do your day job anymore. And in case you're wondering, oh, it's too late, I'm already in my 60s and 70s, you can start this at any age, but it's obviously much more powerful the younger it is that you start it. That summarizes my advice for your various career stages so that you can retire healthy, wealthy, and happy with lots of time to do whatever it is that you want to do. Money matters. It genuinely matters. It gives you choices. My name's Paul Smith, Touch on Education. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do hit the notification bell. Don't miss another one of these Money Matters. I hope you've enjoyed this week's episode. You've been wonderful. I've been Paul. See you next time.